Oh yeah, now I'm pretty again. No more Santa Claus look. Welcome back guys. Today is Monster Bass Day. Stay tuned because I'm going to open this box up in just one second. Welcome back guys to No Redemption Outdoors and we're in the shop again today because we're about to do another box opening and it's Monster Bass Day. So, there it is. Now, before I get started, I am trying a little bit of a different setup today, so we'll see how it goes. See how you like it? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you like what we're doing, please go down and hit the like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell and drop me a comment. I want you to know the comments help me immensely with the algorithm. And so that's a great way to support the channel and I very much appreciate that. And with that, let's get into this box. So like I mentioned, it is the November 2020 Monster Bass and uh, there is a raging debate about what is the better box. So, you know, the mystery tackle box that came this month was pretty impressive. It really set the bar high for Monster Bass. So we'll see if they can uh, rise to the occasion. And I'm thinking that after, um, after I've done this box opening, I'm going to get that mystery tackle box out and do another video comparing both boxes to really, to really measure which one is the better box side by side. So, uh, with that, let's go ahead and get this box open. I've already cut it open with my knife, so I'll go ahead and uh, give you the first look. All right. And uh, as is the case in every month, we have the what's in the box card. All right, give you a look at that. Uh, I'll give you a look at the back as well. I'm going to set that to the side so I can follow along with it. Also, we got the uh, the monthly sticker. This happens to be a pretty big sticker this month. Pretty cool. Uh, I don't think I have anywhere on... I wouldn't want to stick it on the boat. But uh, I got a thought about where I might put this. So, I like this. I always like the Monster Bass stickers. They have some of the best stickers, I swear. Uh, also, there is a... Looks like a little $10 coupon towards some sunglasses if you're if one's inclined they're ten dollar savings all right let's see what's in this box uh, first thing on top is the strike king uh, pro model crankbait Take a look at that go ahead and open it up it says on the top, Series 4 dives 5 to 8 feet. The color on this is Sexy Sunfish, and it's sexy indeed. Uh, Strike King packages always give me fits. There we go. So much for that box. And there it is. That's a pretty nice looking bait. See how that's really, yeah, fairly sharp hooks. Let me give you a look on this camera. All right, so it just says Strike King, $5. So I presume that is what that is referencing. There is another Strike, Strike King reference on there, so that I imagine is still in the box. Uh, next up, we have Excite Baits XB1, dives uh, two to five feet. Now I did see on Rick's video that um, this was another of those custom painted baits. I forget the name of the company offhand that he mentioned does this. But he did this in the last box and he said in the video that I watched this month that this is another of those where it's custom and once they're gone, they're gone and they're exclusive to uh, Monster Bass customers. So a nice little square bill. And uh, let's see, what is the color? This is Blue, Blue, Blue Ghost Supreme. And it um, uh, doesn't indicate how, oh, two to five feet, three eighths ounce. Nice. Ooh, sharp. Right. 
And uh, that is retailing for $14. It says uh, limited edition custom color by Messer Bates. That's the name of the company that I couldn't remember. Messer Bates. They did that at last month. And yes, it is indeed a nice looking bait. I like the color for sure. So $14 is what they're saying the retail is on that. All right, next thing in the box is Bama Baits. I've gotten a number of Bama Baits things lately. Uh, nice looking bait, let's give you a look there. Now this is called the Alabama Slammer. It uh, dives uh, two to four meters. <laughs> I don't know what that is and silly me. Uh, I don't know exactly. Let's get this thing open. What are we calling this color? Do we have it on here? I don't see it. Uh, I don't think Alabama Slammer is the color. It might be. I thought that was the actual name of the bait. Let me give you a look there. I like the uh, feather tail in it. That'll give it some nice action, I should, should imagine. Okay. So, um, this Bama Baits is retailing for $8. All right, next item in the box is uh, Lunker Candy LC55 Lipless Crankbait. It's uh, blue chrome is the color. Let me give this camera a look at it. All right. So let's get ahead, go ahead and get it out of the package. Oops. A little hung up there. There we go. Oh, those are some sticky hooks. All right. Let's give this camera a look. It's a nice looking little bait. Um, it's, it's probably the smallest lipless that I have. And actually, for this time of year, I think it'll be perfect. So, yeah, that's cool. Lunker Candy is retailing for $8. Lunker Candy LC55. All right. Yep, sure enough, I knew there was another Strike King in here. Strike King uh, Netoko. Uh, black and blue swirl is the color. Let me give you a look at it here. Go ahead and open her up, take a look. I'll bet you there are hooks in here for this. A little Ned Rig hooks, I'll bet you. And, uh, yeah. A little bit of a coffee smell, maybe, or garlicky smell. I like the Strike King uh, KVD uh, Net Ocos very much. And as I mentioned earlier, they are listed on here at five dollars. Both of the Strike King items in the box this month were retailing for five dollars. All right, next item is Jean Larue. Punch out craw. Let me give you a can look on this camera. All right, the color is obviously white. They call it bone white silver. Let's get a, one of them out here. There we go. I'll hold that up for you there. I'll pull the appendages apart here and demonstrate like so. Oh yeah, I bet that has some good some good action as a trailer. The uh, let's see here, the Jean Larue soft baits are retailing for six dollars, and this is an eight pack, by the way. All right. Next, we have Smart Baits. These are the color changing baits. This is, um, what are we calling this? I don't see the particular name of the bait on here. But let's go ahead and let me show you that on this camera, by the way. And now let's go ahead and get her open. Go, a little ribbon tail. Nice little finesse worm. 
And you know, as with, as with all smart baits, they change color depending on the water temperatures and so forth. Uh, this is retailing for $5, and this appears to be an eight pack. So that's the uh, smart baits, $5. All right. And then the last item, spear point hook. We've gotten these the last three months. So um, I probably have enough of them by now. But here we go. I, uh, I do like them, but I am pretty well set for these hooks. These uh, are size one. It's a six pack. And the thing about these hooks is they're supposed to be less prone to... Um, you know, the hook's coming out of their mouth. Somehow or another, because of the, the, the crook in the hook, <laughs> they should use that as a slogan. Let me show you. There we go. So hopefully you can see this on camera there, but the, the shape of this hook in that spot right there is supposed to, you know, catch in their mouth in a way where it's harder for them to shake it or for it to come loose. And uh, I have no argument for or against that. I haven't had occasion to use them, but as I say, I've now got uh, three six packs of them. So I pretty much set for these hooks for a good long while. These spear point hooks are $5, by the way. All right. And that's it for this month's box. And uh, I don't know, boys. I have to say, I think the mystery tackle box was better. Uh, personal opinion, uh, first blush opinion, but I think they got beat. Now, uh, I'm even more motivated at this point to do that side by side. So watch for that. It's going to be the next video that I make. Uh, but mm, mm, what do you guys think? You think uh, Mystery Tackle Box won this month? You know, part of the problem with trying to make these comparisons is that they have so many variants of the boxes and everybody seems to get a different box depending where you live. So comparing them is very difficult. And it seems like maybe one month I might have got a box that wasn't that great, but another part of the country got one that was fantastic. And that's very that's a variable that's hard to control for. So simply put, I'm just going to compare the boxes that I received. And on that basis, I think Mystery Tackle Box won. But We'll see. We'll, we'll square them off and see which one come out ahead. Also, I want to mention just before I sign off that um, I did get an email from Warrior Tackle. Link above in my last box opening. But apparently Warrior Tackle, Tackle is partnering with Monster Bass. Sure enough. So from what I've been able to gather, they're going to carry some Monster Bass branded baits in their box. And if I had to guess, maybe Monster Bass is going to reciprocate by carrying some of the Warrior tackle baits in their box. Well, no, no I don't know. I haven't, I haven't heard anything from the Monster Bass side of things, but I've gotten probably two or three different emails now from Warrior Tackle. So uh, for those of you who were not aware, there's the big news. And uh, there you have it, guys. One more time, I appreciate you stopping by. If you like what we're doing, go down below and hit the like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you'll get a notice every time I post a new video. Check me out over on Instagram. I've been a little more active over there lately. And uh, last but not least, uh, stop by Facebook, say hello. And with that, I'm going to wrap it up. Guys, I appreciate you stopping by. And uh, get out there and do some fishing before the snow flies because... After that, you're going to have to drill a hole. And there you have it. And with that, I will say, until we meet again, guys, take care.